anime lovers and convention fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Yana and this is Curse on the Road. Today's video was supposed to be about the Anime Con 2020 in New York. As you all know, Corona decided that nobody's having fun this year. So instead of that, I'll make a video about the Anime Con in 2019. It will be a nostalgia video about all the things that you can see and do there. I've divided this video into several categories as what you can do in these conventions. First category is definitely cosplay. As you can see, I love dressing up as somebody else and I never miss an opportunity to do so. And there's no better place to meet a lot of people with the same handicap. <laughs> this is just amazing. Another huge attraction are the panels and movie screenings. You can meet some of your favorite celebrities and watch some new anime movies. And also, that's underestimated, you can finally rest your feet. The trend is integration. So Japan looks backward and forward at the same time. Very futuristic at the same time honoring the past and traditions, right? So a lot of the trends here are things like anime being merged with kabuki, like One Piece kabuki. How cool is that, right? <laughs> right? Uh, Naruto kabuki and Hatsune Miku, who performs with the lead kabuki star. I'll teach you a little bit of Japanese. When we perform Rako, we use only two props, only two objects. In Japanese, we call this sensu. Please repeat after me. Sensu. Sensu. Yeah. Very good pronunciation. <laughs> Especially Japanese people. Excellent pronunciation. <laughs> In English, we call this a fan. You don't have to say that. <laughs> In Japanese, we call this tenubi. Tenubi. In English, we call this a hand towel. Excellent pronunciation. <laughs> When we perform Raku, we wear special garments, particular clothing. In Japanese, we call this a kimono. In English, we call this a kimono. <laughs> <laughs> that joke goes over huge in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> but today I'm standing, but when we perform Fono Raku, we spend long lengths of time kneeling on a cushion in a Japanese formal position called seiza. In English, we call it Punishment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not much of an explanation, then you're ready to go. I'd like to create a little bit of 
Japanese atmosphere here. Oh, at rock hall performances or any formal location, we usually start with a greeting to the audience. In formal Japanese, it's called Aisatsu. I'll do the Aisatsu in Japanese and I'll translate it into English for those of you who don't speak Japanese. But there is a role to be played in any occasion for the audience as well. When I go down to bow at the end of this greeting, at the end of the Aisatsu, it is a signal to the audience, if it is an elite audience, to break into thunderous applause. <laughs> and to optionally yell the word, Matemashita, which means, we've been waiting for you. You use this even if I start on time. <laughs> <laughs>
So that's all for the vlog of AnimeCon 2019. I really hope that I'll get a chance to make a fresh video of 2021 and everything will be back to normal. Well, that is if you consider normal asking bearded Sailor Moon where the cloakroom is. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more similar videos. I upload every Sunday. Thank you and bye!